Not every class you take in undergrad is going to be valuable for your experience in optometry school. That's just the nature of undergrad. There's plenty of general classes that you take that aren't gonna help you one bit when you get into optometry school. But there are a few that I am so grateful that I have taken and other classes that I haven't taken that I wish I would have and I have compiled a list for you. And today we're gonna look at the five classes you need to take before you get to optometry school that's gonna make your life so much easier. So let's get into it. What's up YouTube, it's Josh Reese. I'm here to help you become the best optometrist you can be, so whether or not you're trying to go to optometry school or get through optometry school, smash the subscribe button and click the like button to help this video reach more people that need it just like you. The first class that you're going to wish you would have taken before optometry school is anatomy. Now, anatomy is required for certain schools, but it is strongly recommended for everyone that is not required. And I know that when I was applying to optometry schools, I was not planning on taking anatomy at all. And then I ended up getting into a school that did require it and I said, okay, I'll just take it my senior year before I get in and boy, am I grateful that I took anatomy. You go right into it. In optometry school, you are, you're, one of your first classes is ocular anatomy and they just, if I didn't know some of those things, I would have been so lost not that I'm not lost now, but it, it just helps you orient yourself so much more if you have some of the gross structures. And in anatomy, you're not just knowing kind of the gross structures, just kind of point and name, although that's some of it. And that's some of what you do in optometry school too. But you look at the composition of tissues, cell types, how different things interact. Not as much as physiology, but you really get into it. And that's the probably the top class if you're going to take any class that's not required take anatomy the number two class that i did take that prepared me so much for optometry school was called infection and immunity every college is going to call it something else but under my major which was a microbiology major it was a required class that basically talked about everything that can invade your immune system and everything your immune system does to combat that and honestly, that's like half of the battle in optometry school. Now, I didn't know, learn everything in that class, but I learned the general principles that we apply every single day when we're looking at things. So it made those first few weeks looking at diseases way better because I already knew the general processes of, you know, clotting. I already knew the general processes of bacterial infections versus viral infections. It helps so much in those categories. So if you have a class in your biology or microbiology, department that has something to do with immunology or um, virology, infection, immunity, something like that, take it. It's going to help you so much and I'm, I'm still grateful every single day because of that class. I know I've gotten A's on exams that I would have gotten C's on. So it's making a huge difference. The third class I'm grateful I took, and this is because I was a microbiology major as well, and that is medical parasitology. Now, what a weird class, and it was because I was a microbiology major, not every school is gonna have this class, but it basically talked about every medically relevant parasite. Now, in each unit, when you're talking about each system, you talk about parasites that infect that system, and each time it's like I'm meeting an old friend, now that class was hard. It was two credits, but it was like a, felt like a four credit class because all it was was learning the medically relevant parasites and there's so much to know about them. But that class has helped me out a ton. So look for it. It might not be called medical parasitology in, in your undergrad, but go look through the catalogs and it's, it might be roped in with a class like the infection and immunity class. As long as you take one of those advanced microbio classes that can walk you through the immune system a little bit more and things that affect it, that is going to help so much. So that's my number three. All right, my number four class that I am so grateful that I took, even though I didn't do well in it in undergrad and it probably hurt my GPA, but that class is advanced physiology. Now, anatomy and physiology in some undergrad courses are roped together. So I know you might not take anatomy and physiology separately, but I'm grateful that I took the physiology class before I came here. The undergrad that I went to, it was actually taught by the dean of the college, and he used to teach at medical schools, 
and it was called Advanced Physiology, and I did not know what I was getting myself into when I took it. And the first exam I failed in undergrad, I was like, whoa, this class is crazy. And I ended up getting like a C in the class, and so I'm not gonna tell you I learned a ton. <laughs> but I do know that those same principles that we had to walk through with the different steps of diseases and how this system affects this system and different uh, body levels of different tests and what they mean. That is crazy how applicable it is here. I thought, okay, he taught at medical school. Our optometry school is not medical school, it's optometry school. No, you're, you, we literally take almost the same intro science classes that medical schools are taking, almost at the exact same time. We just don't go too much in depth of the clinical side, but we're taking all of those same medical classes. Even if you're going to be a, I, an eye doctor, we still learn about the liver, we still learn about the kidney, we still learn about all the things that affect the skin, right? You're s still going to be a doctor. And so all of those weird physiology things I was learning in that class and I didn't know why I was taking it, I'm so grateful that I took it because advanced physiology has saved my life here. So if you have the chance to take any physiology class or especially an advanced physiology class that's maybe medical based, and if it has a lab, all the better, that is going to help you out so much. All right, now the last class, and this is a class that I actually didn't take, but I have heard that those who have taken it have been helped out a ton, and that is a neuroanatomy class. Now, when I was deciding between my majors, I actually was deciding between neuroscience and micro. Micro was a little bit shorter, so I well, didn't want to take as many classes, but kind of wish I would have done a neuroscience class because when you think about it, the eye is literally just a nerve and it's one of the closest nerves to your brain and it's literally just like plugging into your brain right there. Your eye science is brain science. And so people who have taken these neuroanatomy or like sensation and perception kind of classes, we get to some complicated uh, things in my ocular physiology and anatomy class and I have to wrap my mind around it and there's someone who majored in neuroscience sitting next to me saying, oh yeah, that, oh I know that. Oh, they didn't go into as much detail as I learned. And you think, okay, I wish I would have taken that class. So if you can get your hands on a neuroanatomy course or any neuro course, or if you can major in neuroscience, I'd highly recommend that because you will, those are some of the harder things to wrap your mind around in optometry school. And especially in third year, you're gonna have some crazy in-depth neuroscience courses. And so getting exposure to that early in undergrad is some of the only exposure you're going to get before optometry school. So if you can, seek out a neuroanatomy or a neuroscience class and that'll help you out so much. All that being said, it's optometry school. They're going to make sure they prepare you well for boards and for everything you're gonna to need to know to be an optometrist. So you don't need to stress out too much that you're far behind because you weren't a certain major or you didn't take certain classes. But these classes have helped me out a ton and have primed my learning so that optometry school is just that much easier and that I'm not riding the line in the back of the class but can feel like I'm up there in the learning process. So if you got value out of this video, go ahead, smash the like button again and subscribe and comment down below which classes you felt like have prepared you the most for optometry school. And we'll see you next time. Bye.